I'm all packed up and ready to go back to the trail. I am super excited to feel good again. My digestive, digestive system has seemed to calm down quite a bit. I haven't had any pain in the last 24 hours. And so I will continue to take some medicine over the next few days. But um, fingers crossed that I have energy, feel good, and have some good weather today to encourage me to get back out. Only three miles to the first shelter. I'll probably stop there just to give my body a chance to reacclimate. I'm back. Yep. Back to the AT. It feels good to be back. And just so happens that there was, of course, trail magic at the parking lot. And now that I have a recommendation from the doctor of no junk food, I took away this. That's some good trail magic right there. These last couple of days have been really hard, especially tacked on to two weeks of not feeling well. But I feel recovered and ready. And I'm glad to be back. This first little stretch is a bunch of pastures. Looks pretty muddy here. But I could hike up over on this side. it across the field. Look at that cloud. It's so scary. Anyway, no rain, no rain. And now I'm headed back into the woods. Sun is out. So far it's been a good walk. I have so much to reflect on. Um, these last few days have felt like a real time warp and I am filled with gratitude. I was so lucky and it's trail magic the way that things happened. I thought I was going to be getting off trail and getting to uh, a car rental place and driving home and seeing my doctor and that would make it even harder to get back. Um, but I was contacted by a I guess stranger, but not really. Um, a woman who is a fellow through hiker and we shared so much in common with our stories. And she recognized that and reached out to me. And just the kindest, most generous person. And I was able to stay with her a couple of days. She took me to a walk-in center and the pharmacy to get my meds. And it was a, a time of connection and I really needed that. I think she probably, she probably saved my hike. And I'm grateful. This is such a great bench. <laughs> Perfect contemplation spot, but not for me today. Stumbled across this walk, rock wall. It's kind of interesting. It's not very big. And at the end, there's this stone propped up. Curious. Looks like I'm coming up to the shelter. I'm gonna sit down and have a snack and then decide whether or not I want to stay. There are a couple of tents down there, so maybe. I'll get to hang with some other people. So I stopped at the shelter for a snack and I loaded up with water for the night. There were two people at the shelter, but both in hammocks and they just 
didn't say hi. They weren't friendly, they didn't come out or anything like that. So I decided to walk some more. There's no campsite listed in the app um, from here um, for quite some time, but I'm really hoping that I can find a spot to hang and then I'll call it a night. There's a view. It's after five and I usually don't hike very late, but the temperature today is just perfect. And I'm really excited to be back out here. Get the May apples, always smokes. Anyway, um, I'm not gonna go too much further. In fact, I was looking at the elevation profile and once I get up this little climb here, I'm hoping to find a flat spot or at least a spot where I can set my hammock. Actually, there's a tent site right here, but I'm not a tenter. So I'm kind of to the top and can you see that bright spot? That's that lake, Tauga Lake. Someone had mentioned that it looked like it was in the shape of an eagle. Kinda. So I was hoping when I got to the top I would find a flat spot, but it's really kind of a ridge walk. So that's sloped down in that direction. And then the other side slopes down in that direction. So I'll need to continue walking. Oh, look at this. It's a campsite. Somebody collected stuff for a fire. There's definitely two trees I can connect to. I'm gonna park in here for the night. Sunrise will be over here and the sun is setting over there. I love my little campsite. It's just perfect. And over here, there's a grassy spot where I can do some yoga tonight and maybe even in the morning, uh, depending on the temperature. It's supposed to get down to 38 degrees, so we'll see. Since the doctor ordered me to go back to my regular way of eating, uh, not only did I get an apple at Trail Magic, which was really nice, but I packed out some other things. I packed out some hummus, some carrots, um, a, an avocado, and some leftover rotisserie chicken. This will be my dinner. I need to finish it tonight. And some English muffins, some blueberries, and I packed out almond butter instead of peanut butter. Um, I think that'll be more gentle on my stomach over the next couple of days. So going back to what I was packing out during my first couple of weeks on trail. Um, I did get a protein powder um, to add to, I don't know, just drink it with, with water. It actually blends pretty easily. It, the taste is awful. Um, I won't get this brand again and I can't even remember what it is, but at least it gives me um, some protein. So um, I might even do this vanilla protein powder with some coffee uh, tomorrow. We'll see. So dinner tonight will be chicken, carrots, and blueberries, and then maybe a um, hot chocolate. Uh, I'm gonna use the Element chocolate flavor and add some of that protein powder, perhaps. I'm all set up and just in time. The sun is out, but it's kind of raining. Just little pitter patters of rain on my tarp. It's quite soothing finished dinner except for the blueberries and uh, maybe an hour or so until I don't know until something else I'm not sure what that will be and the rain is coming down a bit harder and the sun is setting I'm still under my tarp but I'll get out in a little bit and take a picture stopped raining and the sun is about to set. Such vibrant color tonight. <sighs> it's a 
today really feels like a restart. Um, I feel good and I'm not tired and my stomach is okay. Um, I really hope this means that um, this is the way it will be going forward. And uh, I learned a lot these last few days. Um, one of the, the intentions I had when coming out to the AT was to just let go of my practices, my current um, lifestyle in, in some ways, and just let the trail provide whatever it um, had to offer to me. And, you know, over the last few years, I've been practicing and really focused on, um, I would guess, I would say like a, a real, um, a ritualistic way of, of living. And I've been wondering if I need to switch things up or, you know, it's like, it's like when you exercise all the time and you feel good and then you stop exercising and you start to feel bad and you didn't realize that exercising was making you feel good um, because you'd just been doing it for so long and always felt good. It's kind of how I feel. You know, I've lived a really healthy lifestyle with movement and sleep, relationships, um, environment, clean eating, all the things. And uh, I was wondering if all of it was necessary. And then I get out here and I let some of those things go and I get sick. So yeah, it was all necessary, which is actually wonderful. Um, I really look forward to getting back to my routine. These last few days off trail, I've been able to do yoga every morning. And so it rained and the ground is kind of wet, but maybe it won't be too bad tomorrow morning because I would really like to do a practice before I put my feet back on the trail. And the clean eating, you know, having whole foods for dinner just felt really good. And so, yeah, there's lots to learn. Sky is just incredible tonight. I don't think you can see it in the video, but it goes from orange and reds to purples and pinks. Mm. What a great way to end the day. I wonder if I'll get a similar view for sunrise. Good night.